Yachtsman. Yachtsman for the win. Yes. Go definitely. Yachtsman. <laughs> Yachtsman. <laughs> Hey everyone, Dana Leslie back again for another Disney Dining Review. Tonight we are headed to Yachtsman Steakhouse mm. over at Yacht Club. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. We have not ever been to this restaurant, but I've always heard so many good things. I have heard that this is the best steak on property, so I'm very excited to eat here. It's going to be hard to beat some of those others. I mean, Disney does, well... Some Disney restaurants can do a good steak. <laughs> Let's see where this falls. The menu online does not show any specialty beverages, so I don't know about that. Um, but the courses, like the um, the appetizers for the first course, there's some great options. There's a jumbo shrimp cocktail. There's a Caesar salad. There's a wedge salad. I'm always a fan of a wedge salad. I do salad. like a good wedge salad. Uh, a lobster bisque, a mm. beef carpaccio, or a French onion soup. So it'll be interesting to see what they recommend there. And then as far as the entrees go, we're looking at a lot of steak. So Well, um, that's good because it's a steakhouse. <laughs> <laughs> so lots of different steaks. Or we could do, um, there are some seafood options, chicken and pork chops, which... I'm not sure um, what <laughs> she's doing. I don't, doing. I don't know. She keeps biting at my hand. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if that would be the direction I would want to go I mean, in a steakhouse. A steakhouse. Right? Yeah. So I mean, unless they just like rave about it for some reason, but yeah. I can't imagine. So this is located at the Yacht Club um, over by Epcot in the Epcot Boardwalk Area Resorts. So I love the location. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually about 15 minutes away from our house. We are about to be late for this thing, so we got to wrap this we thing up. We say that every time. I know. So those steaks, these. <laughs> Steaks. I mean, I'm assuming it's all a car like a normal steakhouse. Like you get the steak, you yes. get the sides, separate, separate, separate. And yep. it was like I saw like over fifty dollars for a steak. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. So most of the steaks are around like that, um, fifty two to fifty nine dollar range. There is a twenty eight house, twenty eight ounce porterhouse for two. That's one hundred and thirty nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> or a chilled Admiral's Tower for two. That's one hundred and forty. That's all seafood. So. I love a good chilled tower. <laughs> that being said, we know this is high end. It is in a resort. It is not in a theme park, even though it is on Disney property. I expect for it to be commensurate with those prices. Yes. I'm keeping an open mind. I am hoping for great things. I hope we love this thing, but this is going to be a $200 plus meal. So I expect it to be not overly crowded, yes. not really, really loud. I expect to be able to think. I expect to be able to hear each other as we talk. And I expect quality steak for over $50 for steak. So yes. there it is. I'm just going to throw it out there. <laughs> All right, I'm hungry. Let's go. Uh, let's do it. Let's go. So the um, the restaurant is still fairly empty, so it's kind of still nice and quiet. It just opened. Yeah, because it just opened. Um, so I don't know as it fills up, kind of how we'll feel, um, but um, but definitely is starting out like it's really nice. They actually did have some specialty cocktails, and so I got a watermelon margarita, which is very good. It was very fast. Like the service was okay, again. They just opened, so there's not that many people here. I got the old fashioned just because I love. That's what we do. It's good. Is it good? It's just a standard old fashioned, but it's done well. He recommended the French onion soup. Apparently, that is like a huge hit. He said that his personal favorite on the menu is the jumbo chilled, uh, or excuse me, the jumbo shrimp cocktail. Um, as far as an appetizer goes. For the entrees, I got a 14 ounce prime rib. And I got an eight ounce filet, and I got the side of the truffle fries, which are another hit apparently mm -hmm. here. I got the potato leek grat, gratin, gratin, uh -huh. however you say that. And then we Cheesy got potatoes. some roasted mushrooms because- We are gonna be so full. <laughs> yes, we are. We don't even make it to the meat <laughs> because- They actually brought out a roasted garlic um, that goes with their Peel apart onion bread. And some sort of butter. Yes. Did you say truffle butter? What kind of butter is no, this? No, I think just butter? regular butter. Um, yeah. But he said to like take the garlic cloves out. And I just spread that gar that roasted garlic on here and it just spread like butter. 
It is incredible. Oh man. Oh my god. That's unbelievable. This is starting off good. This... Look at how pretty this looks. Oh my gosh. Doesn't that look so pretty? I can't. I can't tip it too much because oh the bowl gosh. is really hot, which is perfect for French onions too. Yes. Why, why wouldn't you serve it piping hot? Is it good? Oh my good? gosh. Mm. Okay. The broth itself, like I haven't even tried the cheese yet, but the broth itself is really good. Wow. Those are very good. That is probably the best shrimp cocktail I've ever had. I got the eight ounce filet. Uh, with truffle with fries. With truffle fries. Oh. oh. Very, cooked very, very well. Going in plain steak first. That is super tender. Very flavorful. Cooked to perfection. So there's five types of mushrooms in this side dish. I love roasted mushrooms. Those are fantastic. I know this is cooked well because it's prime rib and I can see it. Mm. What are your thoughts? That's really, really good. Super tender. I really love horseradish with prime rib. Potato leek gratin. The potato gratin? Yeah. It's actually wonderful. That is really good. As the restaurant has filled up, it has gotten a little louder in here, but um, the food was incredible. Unreal. Just. Unreal unbelievable so yeah. we actually decided that we were going to really thoroughly enjoy our meals that we ordered um, and we're skipping dessert tonight um, because, because you're not, there's nowhere to put it it's true and also you're not coming to a steakhouse for dessert right so um, so anyway we will wrap this up at home all right Whew. very full I'm not sure what just happened so, it was a lot it was so much food oh my god before we talk about the food, if you need help planning your next vacation, please reach out to us at fantasticalvacations.com. We specialize in Disney, Universal, cruises, and all-inclusive resorts. Yachtsman was pretty incredible. I'm it not really gonna lie. Was. It was it checked a lot of boxes. Let's talk about the ambiance and theming first, because um, this is probably the one area that we felt that it lacked. Um, we got sat at five o'clock. It was a quiet restaurant. Um, they didn't have all the tables filled. Definitely by the end, as more tables were being filled, it got louder and louder and louder in there. Um, it didn't feel like a luxurious steakhouse that I would want to go and, you know, you even said it at the table that I would want to go and like get a couple hundred dollar bottle of wine and some steak and all of that. But that's that was the offerings. It feels like a craftsman lodge or just a craftsman restaurant. So you go in the lobby of the Yacht Club and then you go off down to the left past Ale and Compass and the Yachtsman Steakhouse is off this hallway down there. Um, but when you go in, like, it just feels very dated. It feels... Um, not like a high-end steakhouse, it's just not, but the prices and the steak are commensurate with a high-end steakhouse, so that's a little bit jarring, I think. If I had to find a negative, this is the negative, because yeah. it is straight up average, Yeah. which is why we're giving it a three. Exactly. Service was really good. Um, from the moment that we arrived to check in, uh, the lady was very kind. She complimented my dress. She asked if we had been there before. She told me how amazing we were gonna love it and how good everything was and made <laughs> recommendations. And then our server, um, accommodated us. He, they tried to put us at a two top and- I hate it when they do that. I mean- The two tops are in the worst locations ever. They're just shoved in all the spaces that you don't wanna be because they put <laughs> the biggest tables in the prime locations. And so the two Fair. top that he tried to sit us at was right up, just scrunched against a wall next to a bigger table. As he was seating us, he asked if we had been there before. We said no. He explained the whole like butcher area and the open air kitchen. And he explained the menu and gave recommendations. He told us the most popular things. And then he was like, but my favorite thing on the menu is this. Like, so that was kind of nice. Like we, we knew a little bit of, of all of it. Yachtsman service was definitely above average. Um, so we get, we're giving it a four. 
Let's talk drinks. This is gonna be easy because they didn't really, so drinks are not their specialty. They do have uh, like, I think they had four or five specialty cocktails on their menu. The only one that sounded appealing because two of them were gin, I'm not a big gin person, but you got the watermelon margarita, which. It was good, it was good. Um, it was not as good as the watermelon drink that I had over at Chef Art Smith's, but it was on par with like the one that I had over at um, a Tambu Lounge Kona Cafe. I got an old fashioned. I feel like any steakhouse needs to be able to do a pretty good old fashioned fashioned and it was a good old fashioned. Anytime an old fashioned comes out and it's like, like, like the same ice that they're going to put in your water, it's not going to be a great old fashioned. It's just not like that's, it's obviously not a quality craft cocktail if it doesn't have like good size ice because it melts slower and you want to be able to sip the bourbon without it watering it down too fast. So we're giving this a four. Yep. All right. Can we please talk about the food? Please let's talk about the food. Oh my gosh. It's the best steak I've ever had on property. I don't, I haven't had all the steaks, but. Let's just start with the rolls. Whenever the bread service comes out. And you're already blown away. They brought out a whole roasted garlic that you scoop the little garlic clove out of and you spread it on your, your <sighs> bread. I mean, what? The appetizers, which were incredible. That French onion soup, best Fred, best French onion soup I've ever had. It, I mean, I thought Beauty and the Beast, Beer Guest was good. It doesn't even hold a candle to this. Yeah. It The temperature was right. The flavor was perfect. The cheese, it was so cheesy. All the onions mm. inside and that bread inside, it was so, so good. Both steaks, I had the prime rib, you had the filet mignon. They cooked were both perfectly. cooked perfectly. The flavor was out of this world, the accompaniments were great. Um, both of those, both of, um, so if you get any of the steaks, they do come with one side and they're just basic sides, green beans, mashed potatoes, the potato gratin that I got and one other thing. The fries, fries regular fries. But I upgraded my fries to truffle fries. I got the potato gratin, both were very, very good. Um, and then we got an extra side of mushrooms because he said they were amazing. Get the mushrooms. They were good. <laughs> ours, if anything, I would say ours were just a tad on the salty side, but they were excellent. And we talked about that in the restaurant and I, he said, if anything, the, the mushrooms are a little salty. And I said, I feel like we're trying to find something wrong with the food at that point. Like he was right, like they, they were just, just Maybe a, just a little borderline salty. salty, but I mean, overall, we couldn't find anything wrong with the food. So it gets a five. Five. I don't think we've ever given food a five. Did we? We might have given Jake, Chico a five. Did we? I don't know, but oh my God. It was real good. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> All of that to say, we got a three, a four, a four, and a five. Yachtsman as a whole, we're giving a four out of five stars. Honestly, anything four and above is really, really good for an overall rating. We will definitely be back to Yachtsman. And the only reason I didn't get higher is just, it just feels tired in there. Like the wow. carpet, it just needs to be refreshed. But man, that's good food it's, for sure. It's good food. Go to Yachtsman. Yeah. It's Trust me on this. Definite hit. Again, we got, we got two drinks, two appetizers, and two entrees. We did not get dessert. We didn't get and dessert. then we added one side. We got a 10% a discount on all of that with uh, annual pass. And with tip, it was $215. This is not a cheap meal for two people, not a cheap meal, no. but the food was worth it. We could have probably shared an entree. Oh yeah, we brought home food. Like um, we could definitely have shared an entree. And we could have gone with one appetizer. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We could have shared an entree. <laughs> There's a 28 ounce uh, porterhouse, porterhouse for two. I don't know how people do that. I don't either. How, how do you, how? How is that humanly possible? I don't know. There you have it. Mm. Yachtsman, Yachtsman for the win. Yes, Go definitely. Yachtsman. <laughs> Yachtsman! <laughs> All right, so if you are liking these videos, give our video a thumbs up and subscribe below so that you don't miss our next dining review. And we will see you on the next video. That's my line. <laughs> sorry. You're just taking over everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you like me to do that whole thing again? I'll cut it in there. And we will see you on the next video. Stealing my line. <laughs>